Hi there, my name is Dimitri and welcome back to another video featuring an amazing tool in software. In this video, we're not gonna just talk about the tool in general. We're not gonna give some small update about what's going on. No, no, no. We're gonna talk about a property listing template that is absolutely gonna revolutionize the way that you use and manage your property listings right now. So at software.io slash templates, there are a myriad of different templates that you can choose from, and this property listing template is one of the best. Property listings are like the advertisement for a real estate property. It gives potential buyers all the necessary information about the property, like price, location, descriptions, and pictures. Having one that is organized and well-designed means that your marketing efforts are more effective and it is easier to communicate the value of the properties. So as with all of the other templates that we have at software.io, just take a look at this preview option right here, and you can see the property template in its entirety. Now this can be showcased obviously through this preview. And if you want to actually utilize the template and dive right in, we can press use template right here. By pressing use template, then going to our selected data source, pressing continue and copying the base to my Airtable account, then pressing add base. We then have all of these different tables loaded into our system. And quickly, we can press create application. So that loads in the background while I review the different tables that we have here. So you'll notice that there are listings, inquiries, and appraisals. Now the main ones I want you to focus on are the listings and inquiries tables. Listings have all of the different properties listed out. And if we click in on any of them, we can see all the different data that's within there. There are thumbnails that essentially, as you'll see inside of the application, end up allowing you to see what the properties look like inside of the application. And then on the inquiry side, these are essentially different people looking for more information about those listings. So in order to take a deeper dive into how the system works, we can press preview here. And then what we can do is take a look at these listings from the perspective of someone using the app. So here we'll see that by clicking view properties, it essentially sends us to a page that has all of the different properties showcased. And you can search by location or keyword. So if I looked up a keyword in here, it would allow me to look for any of the different properties within here. That can be adjusted by going to, if you take a look at these in the content subsection, these are searching by these two properties here, but we can adjust this. So like the description and the location. So if I were to look up Austin, for example, it would have all the different Austin properties showcased, which is this one right here. And then you can also filter them by things like how many bedrooms do they have? one at a time. So three bedrooms, four, or even five plus if you're going crazy, if you got a lot of different bedrooms. Like some people need a lot of bedrooms, I guess. Look at the prices on some of these houses. Jeez. So then we also can filter to look through by Europe and or North America. This is a multi-select option here, which works as well. And furthermore, you can click on more details and you'll have a side open modal here that'll showcase all the different information about this property in more detail. Obviously the price date listed and the agent are here. Um, and then on the bottom of them, there are some other properties that are similar. The way that that works is if you go to pages here and go to item detail, you'll then see that if you open up this right here, this essentially just showcases three more different listings that are within here. And uh, if you wanted to, I could open up this and see more as well. Now there is a form here that shows exactly what the inquiries section is for. Because if I were to fill out this form with my information, it would connect to my data source. If I put Dimitri Panici, and then my email, my phone number, and say, I'm really interested in this property. <laughs> and then press submit inquiry. It would then go to my data source inside of Airtable. And this can be adjusted from an interested form standpoint. You'll see here are the different properties that map to this. But you also can add other properties like how did you find us and whatnot if you just like added the different properties here or pick something like what was the one feature that made you interested. Something like that is definitely useful and effective if you are somebody trying to aggregate the information about people buying these properties or attempting to buy these properties. 
Then on the sell page, you'll see that you have the option to essentially submit forms for appraisals. So that is what the appraisal table is for. If somebody wants to have their property appraised, you can submit a form here as well that will give some information as to your name, email, and more information as well as how many rooms of the property you have is gonna be appraised, what the price expectation is, and then what your message is overall. And then from there, it's another place to aggregate the information. And then once those properties get appraised, you can then, as this property listing person, have it showcase on the buying page. So it's essentially a place to intake different people who are trying to sell their properties and then go right on in and help them sell that. So it is a pretty simple and easy setup here. I really like how simplistic this template is. If you're looking for more amazing templates, please go to softer.io slash templates to check them out. We have a myriad of different templates from you to choose from, and we really appreciate everything that you do for us. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.